Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the Universe channel and today we're going back to 2019 and today I'm taking a look at the LEGO Harry Potter Hungarian Hauntail Triwizard Challenge set. This is set number 75946 and this set includes four minifigures, all of them actually exclusive to the set. So we have Cedric Diggory, Victor Crump, Fleur Delacour and Harry Potter. You're also getting the Hungarian Horntail itself as well as a little hut. And then you're also getting a little side build, sort of representing the golden egg. And then at the back of the box, not really too much to see here. You've just got the Hungarian Horntail chasing Harry Potter. And then you've got the hut all opened up just to reveal the interior section. And then you've got some extra images on the side showing the Hungarian Horntail by the little side build of the golden egg. And then you've also got the um, hut opening in and out. So I think first off, we'll start with the Hungarian Horntail itself. And I gotta say, it's a pretty nice build. It's pretty fun to do. There are some things with this uh, Hungarian Horntail that aren't the best and some things that aren't very sturdy. But I think that Lego done a pretty good job. This comes in a £20 set. This is like the main thing you are paying for. This is the first thing you build in the set. And it's a pretty fun build and I quite like it. There's a lot of movement involved in this thing as well. There's a lot of articulation. There's a lot of bolt joint pieces used. Um, and you can really play a lot with this thing and move it around and pose it however you like. So for example, you have the head uh, that can actually be moved up and down and side to side just like that. The neck can also be moved up and down and side to side. Um, all of these wing sections can be moved as well. You've got uh, three of them, uh, which is pretty nice. And then you've also got the wings that can be moved up and down. And then you've also got the legs as well, which actually can be moved up and down. And you can also move them side to side as well, which I think is really cool. So here we have the head, and I've got to say, I really like the head. Um, I think that it looks really cool. Uh, there is a nice printed piece here used at the top. Really like the way that looks. Um, and then you've got a bottom molded piece as well, just sort of representing the tongue section. I think that logo done a really nice job with that. There is also a flame that's done in transverse orange that pops out from the mouth, just to sort of... Uh, depict that the uh, Hungarian Horntail is shooting a flame out of its mouth. I don't like this build, i got to say that. It's very loosely connected and a lot of the time it ends up going to the side or ends up dangling down or falling off which isn't really very good. Also at the back, um, Lego used these claw pieces or these saber tooth pieces uh, which I think look quite nice but a, a lot of the time when you're trying to move the neck they end up popping off very easily and they are quite hard to put back on so that is a bit of a complaint and then you've also got the neck the neck's not really too much of a big bill it's just about three or four pieces uh it's pretty small but i think it looks fine you also got a sticker here there's not too many stickers using this set most of them are used on the hut uh, but there's not too many uh, you, you only got one small sticker sheet um, and then you've also got the wings as well i gotta say really really like these wings I think they look really cool it's a nice molded piece there it's quite uh rubbery as well uh, these edge parts are quite rubbery um, and you can flap it around as well it is on some joint pieces however the joint pieces are quite stiff which isn't that great because if you're trying to fly this thing around you're going to have a, to put a lot of effort into just flapping the wing once and uh, never mind flapping both of them at the same time because it is pretty hard to do for the feet i got to say really like these uh, they use some more of them sa saber tooth pieces you've got two at the front so represent the claws and then you've got one at the back and because you have these you can quite easily land this thing and it does stand up quite easily you can see that uh, it stands up on its feet very well and even if you just move the the legs you can actually pose this in a lot of positions and have it standing up so if you wanted to pose it like this you could just like that you can have it as though it's gonna sort of boot off the floor and then it's gonna fly up and chase someone uh, i think that that's really cool that you can do that there is another saber tooth piece sticking out from the site don't know why that's there well it looks okay it looks a bit misplaced though in my opinion and you, you can also move these claws as well you can move the back one and the front ones uh, quite nicely and then lastly you have the tail the tail isn't really too much um, anything special it is just three of the neck builds and then you've got like this sort of big uh, rubbery piece at the back that's used here I really like that piece because it gives it that nice sharpness, uh, but it looks really weird. Um, and this is what it looks like, uh, sort of the back of the tail, you've got some of them saber tooth pieces used there. 
And this is a bit of a complaint because it is a pretty loose connection. Um, it's quite hard to actually put on, but it's very easy to take off. So that's not really the best thing ever. As you're playing with this, this is just going to easily pop off, which isn't that great. And again, you can move the tail as well, however you like. So I think that's really cool that they have done that. And that is sort of it for the Dragon. So you also get this little side build for the Hungarian horn tail, which is just essentially a little corner of the sort of the pit. Uh, and it has the golden egg attached to it. Pretty easy to take off. It's just connected with one stud. Um, and I gotta admit, I really like this piece. I'm really happy that we've got this. Just a nice shiny piece to have. And you can put that back on there as well. Um, and you do have some of these translucent orange flame pieces used on the side there. There is a chain also on the side and that's uh, to attach to the Hungarian horn tail. So I'll show you how that works now. So you put the golden egg back on. Essentially what you do is you get the Hungarian horn tail um, and you can attach it onto the chain. So I'm going to show you how that works now. So you just zoom out so you can get a better look at it. Essentially what you've got to do is you've got to get the chain and you attach it to the Hungarian horn tail. So you can attach it to the neck. I would definitely recommend to put it there. You just get the stud on the end, attach it to the neck, and there you have it. And then you can just stand the Hungarian horn tail up. And there you go, there you have it. The Hungarian horn tail is attached to the, the golden egg. And then you can have it as though it's trying to fly away, but it can't, and then it breaks off the chain, and then it flies to get Harry Potter. Now this isn't really a side build, but it's for Harry Potter. Uh, his broomstick. Now this broomstick is very different compared to um, a lot of the other broomsticks that we've had because it has two extra pieces on here. Um, like usually we would just get this standard one single broom piece but they've added these sort of uh, the handles on there for Harry Potter to put his legs on which I think is pretty neat to do and that is sort of it for the... Broom. And then last but definitely not least we have the uh, little tent and I gotta say I really like this. I think that looks really good. Um, it's very simple in the way it's designed like this is um, it takes about like Four minutes to assemble, but it looks really effective when it's all fully built up. I think it looks really good It does rely on these green base plates that lie on the bottom. You got some rocky surface there uh, You got some more leaves on the sides uh, not too much going on there I don't really like these pieces sticking up there, but these are uh, what make the uh, tent actually open up you can easily open this thing up uh, just like this so you just grab it from both sides and slide it open to reveal the interior but before I take a closer look at that I also just want to say that I really like the way the entrance is actually done with these side pieces used here I think that's really cool but over it's just a very simple design and then you've also got the roof section quite like the way that's done as well but you can open this thing up just like that to reveal the interior there's not really too much going on here but uh, they do include some interior in the set which I appreciate there are a lot of stickers you see you've got two here just sort of representing uh, the other two schools and then you've got the Hogwarts logo there um, and then you also got a bed here uh, you can't actually put a figure on it because they'll just slide off because there's no studs to actually attach them onto which is pretty unfortunate I gotta say and then you've also got um, a cabinet here on the other side sort of a wardrobe with some perfume or something like that on there has a translucent green piece with a translucent white diamond piece quite like the way that looks and then you also got a little table there with just some goblets on which are done in gold quite like uh, the way these pieces look i think they look quite nice um and that is sort of it for the tent and you can put some figures in there you can store them on the sides then you can close it back up and have them waiting in there we can semi-close it and that is sort of it for the tent let's take a closer look at the minifigures so here we have harry potter and cedric diggory um and i gotta say I really like these figures i think that both of them actually look really cool harry potter comes with that new style hair piece for the fourth year which i think is pretty cool it does appear in some other sets as well harry potter comes with the mid legs uh, and cedric diggory comes with the fully grown adult legs they both come with a new pausable ones so you can have them as though they're actually pointing at someone which is pretty nice to see quite like the way they look um, and I think that the printing is pretty cool. It would have been cool if Harry got some printing on his legs. But I think the torso printing is quite nice. And then you've got Cedric Diggory as well uh, with the different house prints. I think that's quite nice to see. Uh, and then you've got the different robe details as well. And the outlines, I think that's quite nice. And then for the back, uh, I think that that's quite nice because you can actually see the names. It says Potter and Diggory. 
which is quite nice. Uh, and then they've got the stars on the red stars, and they've got the different coloured hoodies for the different houses, which I think is really nice to see. They do both uh, come with some alternate expressions, so Harry Potter comes with a bit more of a serious look, and he does have the scar on the top as well. And then Cedric Diggory just comes with a anger expression, uh, and that is sort of it for these two figures. And then we have Victor Crumb and Fleur Delacour. I gotta say, I don't think that the faces for these figures are actually that great. Victor Crumb in particular just looks a bit too serious for who he is in the film. I don't think that he looks that serious in the actual uh, movie. And same thing with Fleur, she doesn't look like that in the films. Uh, but I like the torso prints, I think they look pretty cool, just sort of showing the different schools for uh, the Bukes patterns. And then you've got Victor Crumbs as well, which is quite nice to see. Um, and they don't come with any printing on the legs, they've just got plain legs, which is kind of unfortunate. Would have liked to see some printing there. They both come with them new pausable ones. I think the back printing is pretty cool, it has the different logos for their schools. Uh, and then for alternate expressions, you've got Victor Crumb comes with a bit more of a happier face, again, very inaccurate to where he actually looks. And then Fleur comes with a bit more of a smirky face, doesn't look very accurate at all, so that's pretty unfortunate for these figures. Okay then, so let's talk final opinions. What do I think of this set and should you spend your money on it? So I think that as a whole it's a pretty good set and I would definitely recommend picking this up. This is only £25 but I think that you're getting a really good deal. You're getting four uh, really good exclusive minifigures and I mean you can't really argue with that. You're getting a little side build which is quite nice showing the golden egg um, and you're also getting a nice broom as well which isn't just one broom piece. Uh, so Lego put a lot of effort into that. You're also getting a nice hut, which for some reason I am absolutely in love with. I really like that hut. Then you're also getting the Hungarian horn tail, which is a really fun build in process. And the final product looks really good as well. And if you've got kids and they like Harry Potter and they like Lego, I would definitely recommend picking this one up because it just, it looks really good. Um, I can't really moan about this one uh, that much. There are a few pieces that tend to fall apart, but most of this thing is really good and I'm really, really impressed with Lego of how well they've actually done with this set. Um, and also it's pretty easy to build as well, so um, it's not too much of a complex build, which I think is really good. Um, so it allows for a lot of playability from kids as well. And you can really represent that scene from the Goblet of Fire with Harry Potter being chased by the Hungarian horn tail really well. As you've got all of the scenery and then you've got all of the figures involved in that scene. So. With that being said, it is the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, then why not subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss another video um, and as well as like the video. But with that being said, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you're having a great day. So peace out. See you later. Bye-bye.